All right, I wanted to do a little introduction to our final video uh, for our Alaska adventure. I'm up the cabin doing some editing, and the last the last video is going to be about uh, uh, fishing reds in the Kenai River. I found it very difficult to film them because you can do you know 200 casts as you'll see in here, and you don't get any bites. So to keep the camera running for you know sometimes it took three hours to get three fish. So I found that very difficult to do to do that. So I really, I only have one fish on film and it was actually a snag, so you gotta let them go. So the deal in the Kenai is the red salmon do not bite. They're, they're just, there's thousands, sometimes 84,000 of them come into the river a day or 50,000 a day. And they're just cruising up to go spawn. But they're not feeding anymore. So you can't, they don't technically bite your, your hook. So what you do is you throw out your line, your line, you know, you want as they're gulping, as they're, as they're cruising up the river, they're gulping here because they're fighting that current. And if you get lucky enough to get one that snags through its mouth and you hook it in the mouth, you can keep that fish. If it's snagged anywhere else, you have to let it go. And, uh, you know, so it's very difficult to do 300 casts choo, 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 and not have a bite and have the camera running. So I apologize for not too many fish on here. Um, we were able to get our limit every day. One day uh, we didn't keep two fish because they were too small. That's okay. That's okay. That's a good choice. Sometimes uh, people choose not to keep them. That's that's cool. But every other day we all brought in our 12. So you see them. They're beautiful fish. They weigh a lot. Um, I also put on this this video in the very beginning. I'll put when we were coming in from a halibut cruise. You saw that we just landed on the on the trailer. Well, I have films of that in the halibut video of us coming in from the boat. But I also had when someone was on shore watching us come in. So not only can you see our adventure from coming in from the boat, but then I'm gonna show you what it looked like from shore. In both instances, we did it twice. So you'll see that. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, what else? Oh, I'm gonna show a tour of our friend's house that we stay there. And I apologize in advance for the terrible pronunciation of this, but her husband was an Anupe? A nupe. I don't mean to be derogatory, but it's uh, uh, an Eskimo, a native Alaskan. I'm not sure what the correct term and dial is. No, no, no uh, intent of any ill. I just don't know how to say it. <laughs> I'm ignorant that way. So, uh, but he was a native Alaskan, and he was able to have a polar bear rug. So you'll see some of the artifacts that are in her home that are just gorgeous. And I just wanted to show you. I got the touch of polar bear fur. How many people in their life ever get to touch a polar bear fur? Uh, not many, I'm suspecting, unless you're some type of native. So that's the beginning of that. Uh, you'll see some fish. You're just not going to see many caught, and I apologize in advance for that. It just was very difficult to film. Once you get them on, you got to get them out of that current, or they'll, they'll be gone. They'll spool you. They'll take all your line and run. So once you get them on, it's quick to get them ashore, get them out of people's feet so you don't screw everybody else up fishing. But you'll see the way the fishing technique goes. It's just strange. It's just strange, you know. And and there was a game warden on that beach on this uh, this sandbar we're on, and he was writing tickets for people. And we don't know why, but I'm suspecting it was people that were keeping fish that were foul hooked. We did not. We kept every fish we caught was illegal fish that we kept was illegal fish. We let a lot of snagged fish go. It's just what you do. There's so many salmon coming up that river that, um, you know, everybody got their limit. Let's put it that way. It's not it's not extremely difficult. It's it's it just takes time sometimes. So. Jeff was the pro. Jeff got, uh, he, he was the, usually the very first one out of the water. And you see in this video of me and Matt giving him a hard time, but that's only because he whooped us bad every other day except for that day. So Jeff was uh, a, a stud at uh, the Red Salmons on the Kenai River. So hope you enjoy this film. It's more recreational, some BS going back between me and my buds. Um, so hope you love the laughs. We did. It's a beautiful day. So this is how we land the moat, folks. 17 knots, check it out. Right up on the, it's called the scoop. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
He's learning how to do the scoop, so he gets really down on himself if he doesn't do it right. And he's always like, sorry, Brian. I chew his ass through the windshield when he doesn't do it right. <laughs> so he just looks up for uh, approval. Approval. It's very What's up, buddy? Okay, good oh. job. Uh, all the time. sweet lady lets us stay with her when we come up here she has was married to an Inuit so I thought I'd show you some things that she has that are so cool this is a polar bear rug nowhere polar bear rugs are available but look at that she's got one in her hallway because her husband was an Inuit she can have it and here we have some real interesting artifacts this bone right here is a walrus penis bone called an usik. An usik. And supposedly, they carve a, in the, the villages, they carve a smiley face at the end of it. What else? What else is in here? What are those jaws down there? Do you know? The little things? Those uh, I don't know for sure. What all right. Be. I'm going to guess those are reindeer. Okay, reindeer jaws. Here she has like a mink or an well, otter. Martin, Martin, Martin stretcher. stretcher. Could be the bottom of a porpoise. There, here she has a beautiful walrus tusks. And what's that called when they scribe? Scrimshaw. Scrimshaw. They draw pictures on them. Look at that. Is that cool? They carve it in there and sell them. She can have all of this. What else? Let's see. Here's a beautiful, if you prior to tell the size, but that is a large, large king salmon. Over here. 74 pounds. 74 pound king salmon. There's a walrus tusk. Uh, what else? Oh, another big walrus toss. I showed you that. So, what a beautiful home. She lives in a beautiful lake. Here's all her lake out here. It's where we've been staying since we got into the Soldatna, Kenai area. Beautiful, beautiful home. Well, morning, everybody. Day six of our adventure. Thursday morning. Today we're going to go snag reds. Yesterday we went to the Cuscatan River. That was uh, a riot. That was where silver salmon. Oh, I hear the loons in the background. Hopefully you can hear those. Uh, but it's been a beautiful trip so far. We've had great weather. Phenomenal. Been so much fun with the buds. Today we're back in the Kenai River fishing reds all morning. So 
Till we get our limit, we'll be on the Kenai River. Talk to you later. Well, they've already got their waders. Yep. Their fishing right. license. We need those. Yep. We are leaving our friend's house now, everybody. Hang on, on our way to go Hang salmon fishing. Hang on a second. What? All right, so we had to wait for Matt because again. he again. again we had to wait for Matt because he forgot his license. But wait, wait, where's Matt going now? Then he forgot his vest that has his it's almost license like, in. Yeah, yeah. So here we are waiting patiently for Matt again. Apparently he's got the wrong pair of underwear on. Yeah. There he comes back, the walk of shame. <laughs> Did you get your depends and stuff, Matt, too? Did you get the... Did you have the tight one where it doesn't leak out the bottom, or yeah, what, well, did you, what did you get? I need one last hug from Sharon, so... Alright, that's you're being recorded because we were ripping you the whole time you were gone, just for the record. So... Trying to stop my windshield wipers and back up here. Folks said, hey, first day of salmon fishing on the Kenai River, we gotta run to... Walmart and get some Walmart and get some stuff. We gotta run to uh, Danny's and pick up our fishing gear. And we'll head to the Kenai. So it's another great day. Now that Matt, oh, okay. Matt's back on board. Finally. All right. He's moved up to the Mejitos. No, I moved down to Coors Light, and I forgot to, <laughs> I forgot to tell my GP Once you're about in the that. Basement, Once you, yeah, your spiral down doesn't get much lower. Is there any changes in your health history? It's like, well, I've developed a liking for Coors Light. Is that, is that a problem, doctor? No, well, that's healthier for you. Well, he says, well, that's gonna, we're gonna have to further uh, do our uh, pelvic exam a little bit more intensely just to see what the problem is. Move. Cow and her calf. Jeff's trying to call her in. <laughs> We're red fishing, folks. See everybody lines up. Everybody's got flags, flies on. Matt's way down there in the orange hat. Jeff's right here in front of me. No, it should be. What's going on, Jeff? We're just gonna rotate and wait till somebody pops up. Yeah, you get one, I'll jump in, or your brother will jump in. Maddie gets one, I'll go down and jump in with him. It's all good, man. I finished my video or not, but Matt's up there, Jeff's right in front of me, huh? Scotty's here, and then you see all the people down the line, man, They're all just trying to catch red salmon. So that's what it's all about. Guide boats come in or personal boats come in and sit on the islands. And... I'm, gonna, I'm basically going to document the, what, what they do here. So if you see Scotty, you kind of throw it upstream, you're technically you're snagging because they don't feed. But you gotta give them in the mouth, you gotta let them go. They can't be followed up. So put a little, little yarn or fly on your thing and then kind of swing it around. We're using spinning rods, and most people are using bait casters or fly rods. But you kind of get the technique of what they're doing. Swing it through and go. So that's all the technique. You can see the turquoise water of the Kenai River on glacial silt. Pretty darn cool, man. What's going on here? Foul hook though. Scotty, don't be backing up too much. Don't be backing up too much. Push me right out of here.
John's brother's got one. Must be a school coming up right now. Is that one good? Yeah. Cool, good job. <clears throat> I told ya, I got Scotty on one. I told him he was gonna get one. We got a stick. He's, I stuck it to him, he man. catches more get sticks. He, yeah, right on brother, right on. You're the best at that I've ever seen on the Kenai River. Well, you're good at that stuff. We're just trying to get one more. Scotty and I both got two. Maddie's out of the competition. He's got his three. Oh, no, folks, I'm sorry I didn't get a... Just turn the GoPro off, too. Doggone it. Matt's gonna take the hook out for me. He's a good man. He was the first out, I'm second out. The Vinokas are kinda, you know. Slagging. Yeah, slackers. Slackers. Matt, thank you. I'm gonna put that away. All right. We're good. He doesn't help us. He won't help us. Why would he help you guys? <laughs> you pay him more. <laughs> We're just poor, poor people. Save up for 10 years to get up here. It's been six years, he said, since y'all been here. I know, I, I'm full of it. <laughs> we were harassing his brother down there, so we figured, what the heck, we'll come down here and harass him for a while. These guys are from Kasila, originally Tennessee. Ah, cool. Actually, Jeff's been the fastest one out of the water since we've gotten here for doing this. So this is the first time I've beaten him all week, so I'll let the harassment begin. Yeah, give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I deserve it. Dude, you got that one in about 20 minutes that one day. Goes around, comes around, right? Oh, yeah, with this crew. It ain't going to be sweet either. He's lucky you're here, <laughs> since I'm a gentleman. <laughs> Careful, I think she's on his side. She I might heard it, I heard it. Oh, yeah, he's been helping. She he's might hook up one. No way, helping. I want to see him catch one finally. I had a couple on, but they're not good. Uh, I mean, through the mouth, they just popped up. Believe it or not, I, right there, the orange, the I had uh, three and five casts, but one was, uh, I had two and two casts. That's awesome. And then I had a couple of casts, and I caught a dolly. So I had five fish in uh, five. So we're in a no-brainer spot then, man. That's the way I need it, Jeff. If it ain't no-brainer, I ain't catching them, brother. You know that. Were you down at the other end? I was just about five up from you guys. Matt was way up. Matt cleaned up right away. He always gets his fish within about an hour. I'm going to run out of footage time on the GoPro here, Scotty, or uh, uh, Jeffrey. Come on. Oh, oh, you're on film, brother. It's a good day. <laughs> <laughs> Pressure's on. Here we go. This is the one. Oh, you rolled him. Tickled his little belly. Look at that. So I did this with your brother, and I was standing right here filming him. I turned it off, and he caught one. <laughs> That's all work. The limit of red salmon on the Kenai River. Loving life. Waiting for Jeff and uh, Scotty to get there. They both need the one more. We're all done. Can you lift them up just a little bit there, buddy? Yeah. Just sit down here. Take a break. Yeah, perfect. Good. We 
Jeffrey got his limit. He's down to three now, right? That's right. All right, man. Cool. All right, fishing reds in the Kenai River. You're the best with a little <laughs> nine month old. Super cool, you guys. <laughs> Wait a minute, we're one short. Who doesn't have theirs? Let me say it before Perfect. them. Got our limit of 12. I saved these last two little ones. Scotty got them. So if you notice, this one's really small. It's scarred up too. Scotty, he, uh, I don't know, he doesn't, the skulls aren't very high, so we'll wind up having to cut all these out. But Scotty tried his best. He was the last one. We waited about two hours for him to get his third one. That's, that's real funny. <laughs> All right, folks, really, we only had to wait about an hour, folks, so. All right, so today we spent our last day, Friday, on the Kenai River. We all got a limit of beautiful red salmon. Man, they were running big today, as big as we caught any other day. So it was a good, good day, man. Good friends, good friendships, and great ribbon, as you saw in the video. So day seven is done. Can I add something? Yeah, go right ahead. Hey, I just want to thank everybody for adding me to this trip. Now, I know I wasn't their first pick, and they called 14 other people, <laughs> but I still really appreciate the opportunity to share it with you guys, so thank you. Matt, you shouldn't have ratted us out that he was the 14th pick after we got done with all those other people, but... Well, I think it was actually the 15th. The I, 15th? I, I would, uh, <laughs> his grandma couldn't make it. <laughs> Grandma couldn't make it. Too oh, bad. Man. You know, we were blessed with uh, seven days of great weather and we were able to get on the ocean and and uh, once in a while you just get pushed off the water just because of the weather. So, no, we, we did fabulous bringing back uh, 110 pounds of fillets. Can't complain about that. Um, per person. 110 pounds of fillets per yeah. person, folks. It's over. I'm looking forward to the heat of Minnesota, but uh, I'm not looking forward to getting back to the work, but... Um, is what it is we'll be back so that's uh, why we work our asses off at our jobs matt so we can appreciate a great eight days like this with good fishing good friends laughs and yucks we had a blast